Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script Quick Tip Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to encode JSX bin files inside of a JSX file. There's a couple of reasons of why you'd want to do this, both putting a JSX bin inside of a JSX file and using a JSX bin at all. Well, using a JSX bin is essentially just encrypting your file in a sort of binary way, which allows people to not be able to see the code directly. It is possible for some people to de-encrypt the code, but it won't be fully the same and it will have some errors inside of it. So one thing is to basically protect your IP or your intellectual property. If you have made a script that you think is very valuable or you're using some unique techniques that haven't been used in the public before and you're kind of trying to savor that, that technique that you've discovered, then you can use this to hide your code very well. And some people have also said that it helps run better. Um, I'm not sure how true that is, but it may be. And it helps sometimes when there's errors found in the script, it will tell you directly um, if you're using this rather than JSX. So essentially what this is, is it's a JSX file and it appears as a regular script file in your computer, um, but it has this JSX bin text inside of it. So the way we do this is really simple, but it's kind of nifty because we don't have to give the user a JSX bin file, one which sometimes people are turned off by, by because they think that it's not a script file for some reason, and some computers actually detect it as a problem when it has that bin in it. Um, another reason is it just is easier to run when it's a JSX file. You don't have to click on any, as many menus to get to it. So it's really simple. All you need to do is load up your original script in the JSX format. So I can select uh, this enable scripts to write to file script. And what I'm going to do is click on export as binary. It's the same process as before. And I'll just go ahead and save this on my desktop. And then I'll load up a new JavaScript file where I'm going to then paste that code from. So if I go into my desktop and load up this JSX bin file, what I can now do is just copy all of this and paste it inside of my JSX file. Now you might be thinking, wow, I can't read any of that, or will that even work? Well, yes, it will. If I go ahead and connect this to After Effects and press the Run button, um, I actually need to make sure my settings are properly set. If I deselect Allow Scripts to Write Files, and I run this JSX bin code, it's then going to run the script properly. So now I can take this newly created script file and save it as a, a JSX file. So I'll just call it new script and it's now going to contain this. So now when the user is running this, they can access it from this menu here because it's a JSX file. And as well, if they find it in a different section of your computer, going to run script file, you can see, well, our new script is visible, but if we wanted to find a JSX bin file, we'd have to go to this extra option and then select it. So it's very useful to have it just in JSX format so that you can more easily access it while also encrypting your data to make sure that everything's secure. Thanks again for watching everyone. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to be notified of the two videos coming out twice weekly on this channel. And of course, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And of course, follow us on Instagram down in the description as well. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you in the next one.